Hello, welcome to Gift Wrapping by Elaine. Today I want to show you quite a quirky idea. How to wrap a bottle of wine and make it look like a shirt and tie. So, what you're going to need is some paper of your choice. I like the idea of using a striped paper while we're talking about a shirt. And probably about a metre or less. Um, of some ribbon which will be for your tie. So this is what we do. Put your bottle on its side and you need to have enough wrapping paper so that the paper will go round the bottle and overlap there by about half an inch or a centimetre or so. And from the top of the bottle to the top of the paper you want to be looking at about six inches 15 centimeters or a little bit less give or take so start off by allowing a little bit to come along the bot ex exceed along the bottom of the bottle and I like to put a piece of sellotape just to anchor that paper onto the bottle it makes it a little bit more secure and then I'm rolling my sellotape now some of you may have seen me do this before you take a small piece of sellotape and you just roll it back on itself so that in effect you're creating a sticky tube and I find this a lot easier than using double sided sellotape. Having got a so just roll your bottle, whoops, like that, and when you've gone all the way around, you've joined your paper and you can't see you can't see any sellotape. With this bottom edge here, just bend your paper underneath the bottle. Now you might be thinking, ooh, she's not got much paper there. Um, that's deliberate. You don't want to end up with a lot of paper being squashed under the bottle. Because if your bottle is quite flat, um, you could end up with a bulky piece of paper. And then your bottle will rock when you stand it up. I'm going to stand this bottle up now and you can see it's standing perfectly straight. So the next thing to do is find the join where you've overlapped the paper and this join here is the middle of the front. So I'm going to crease my paper down a little way on each side. You don't need to go very far like that. And then I'm going to fold all this paper over. Obviously, I'd be doing this towards me normally. Just a small way. And then take a second fold. Now, your second fold needs to be much bigger. I'm talking an inch or about two and a half centimetres. I'll just turn it round so I can see what I'm doing. And Make sure, as always, you really crease your paper. This is a very good quality paper. It's quite thick, so I am giving it a really good crease. With two little corners here, take both of them and bend them in at a right angle. I'll turn this round for you in a minute. So brought these points right over. Then take your scissors and you need to cut under the where you've just bent it in. Can you see where I've cut it? And then you can bend these back a little way. These are going to be the shoulders, if you will, of your shirt you should be able to see that clearly now so here's my 
ribbon, which is, as I say, about a metre or a bit less, really. And I'm going to lift up the flap and put the ribbon underneath that fold. Now, at this stage, you want to make sure that the ribbon on your right is longer than the ribbon on your left. Now, I am going to have to turn it round to do this. So, whoops, with your ribbon under that flap, I'm then going to do a tie. So, you've probably all got your own ways of doing ties. This takes me back to when my, when my boys were at school and we used to have to do a tie. We didn't have them on elastic then. And I just go round twice, up and through. Try and do it as close to the top as you can and then you can just adjust it a little bit. Can you see where we're going? So you can tighten it just do it a little bit at a time. Don't use a wired ribbon for this because it could be that you will actually um, cut your paper, especially if your paper's not as thick as mine. Now to finish it off, what I like to do is to get my glue gun and just glue down my tie pieces like that and then sometimes depending on the paper um, I make a little tie pin and I just bend a bit of tin foil I think you might have seen me use tin foil before Whoops. and just squash it a little bit you only need a tiny length actually and bend it into a tie tie pin and with a little bit of glue on I think this just finishes it off oops it's not sticky so there's our little shirt and tie and here I've got another one I've done with a plain paper um, and just to finish this off just just because I had some buttons handy, I've actually put a couple of little shirt buttons to match the paper. So there you go, how to wrap a bottle with a shirt and tie finish.